So we're going to have a look at a couple of questions that we can see how using logs can help us and apply this to some example questions. So here's our first one. So an experiment's being done and it's recording the temperature of a liquid and that uh, liquid, the temperature gets measured every minute and um, recorded. So the temperature T degrees is falling such that it's modelled by this equation, T equals 28 times 0.98 to the M, which actually means that it started off as 28 degrees Celsius. And M is the time in minutes, and that's how much it's um, getting reduced by each time we can work out uh, using this equation. So the question is, how long would it take for the temperature to drop below 20 degrees C? So we need to have this equation being less than 20. At some point it drops below 20 degrees, we want to know what value of m would make that happen. So if we go through trying to solve this equation, we can get the 0.92 to m is less than 20 over 28, which simplifies to 5 sevenths. Now on the ne next line I've taken log of both sides so that we can now use our log rules to do this next step m log 0.92 is less than log 5 sevenths. This means we can now isolate m by dividing through by log of 0.92. So the next step that you'd probably want to do is write this straight away. But you need to be very careful here because log of 0.92 is actually negative. So it redirects our inequality sign and switches it round. If you divide or times by a negative number, then it reverses the inequality. So if we work out log of 5 sevenths divided by log of 0.2, you'll get 4.04. .04. So m has to be greater than 4.04. .04. So the number of minutes that it takes for the temperature to be recorded below 20 degrees C will be 5 minutes. Now let's have a look at this one here with a geometric progression. We want to know how many terms are needed for the sum to exceed a thousand. Now remember from P1, this is the formula for working out the sum of a geometric progression. Now if we apply this, we want it to be greater than a thousand. In this case our rate is 2 and our starting number A is 4, so we substitute those in. And now we are going to solve that equation. When we get to this step, we need to divide through by minus 4. That reverses the inequality. And it only reverses because we're divided by a negative number. That doesn't always happen, so just be careful. You only reverse the inequality if you're dividing or timesing by a negative, otherwise just leave it as it is. So then we can take off one from both sides and we get negative two to the power of n is less than negative 251. Now we want to multiply by minus one to get rid of those negatives, which means we have to reverse our inequality again. Now take log of both sides, bring down that n, divide through by log of 2. Again, check that you haven't divided by a negative. Log of 2 is positive, so we're fine. So n has to be greater than 7.97, which means we need 8 terms to get the sum of our sequence to be more than 1,000.